What's up, modern steaders? Today, we need your help. We're calling on the power of the community. We're looking for some feedback from some experiences that you might have had or somebody that you know has had. Right here, we're hatching some Bodrock chicks. We got about 10 more days, then they'll be hatching. First, I wanted to let you know we're going to be doing a giveaway video tomorrow, Sunday, April 2nd. So make sure you come back and watch the video to enter in for a chance to win. The one little hint I'll give you is we did a collaboration video with her channel not that long ago. And then our friend Will over at the Weekend Homestead is putting together a fun little blooper video for today, April Fool's Day. So I'll put a link right here. Go over, check out his channel, and tell him Al from Lumna Acres sent you. Normally we raise the Cornish Cross for meat birds. But since this year we're hatching our own eggs, we're trying to decide whether or not if we should buy Cornish Crosses for meat birds or if we should try raising some barred rocks for meat birds. I know some of you guys have already ordered all your chicks and everything. Us here, being in northern New Hampshire, we still got snow and actually it's raining right now and it's freezing. So we're still in the planning stage and getting everything ready for once snow melts, we can start getting the piglets, planting the garden, and getting the chicks going outside. So we're still planning right now. We're thinking this through and trying to figure out what kind of meat birds do we want to raise. So let's go back in the house, sit down, and have a little chat. So we raise our meat birds on pasture in the chicken tractors that we built. I can link a video here and show you the chicken tractors that we use and how we built them. We move them one or two times a day depending on how much of the grass they eat and how thick the grass is at the time. Pluto wants to come over and say hi to everyone. Are you going to be shy? I guess not. So in the past, we've had good luck with the Cornish Crosses. Out on pasture, it takes about eight weeks to raise them. And they've come out to be four to five pound carcasses when we're all said and done. And we can get two to three males out of them for our family. So we think for that amount of time and the amount of feed we have into them, we have really good success and they taste great. The big thing with the Cornish Crosses, we can raise them and we can have meat in our freezer in right around eight weeks. They eat a little bit more feed during that time, but they only take eight weeks to grow them to size. The barred rocks are going to take anywhere from 14 to 20 weeks. They're not going to eat as much in an eight or 10 week period, but they're going to eat in 20 weeks probably just as much or maybe more as the Cornish crosses. If you know that, I'd love to hear the answer to it. Leave it in the comments below. We've had roosters that we've had to go ahead and cull but I've never kept track of how much they've eaten or how old they were. It's just, oh, we got a rooster when we were living in Mass. We can't be having them crowing. Now it's time to put them in the crock pot. So I don't think they were quite, they were probably around like 11 or 12 weeks old. The carcass size was decent, but not huge. So do you find that the meat quality is better on a dual purpose breed? I know you get more darker meat, but do you have more flavor? So I'd love to know what you've had for your experience with raising dual purpose birds for meat how long it's taken you to raise them, how much feed they consume, and if you've done the Cornish crosses before, what's your comparison to the two? And which one do you prefer to raise for yourself? I think what we're gonna end up doing is we'll raise both. We're gonna hatch out our barred rocks and we'll sell the females and we'll keep the roosters and I'll raise them for meat. This season we're gonna be growing out barred rocks and Cornish crosses for meat birds. I just decided that while we're making the video. We're gonna do a comparison and we'll let you know which one we find is better for ourselves. Let us know if you've done it before. I'd love to know your experiences and any suggestions you can have for us as we're doing it. So subscribe so you don't miss out on the update videos. And we'll be having some chicks hatching pretty soon. That's pretty exciting. We got a lot of seeds started. We're gonna be getting piglets soon. Once the snow melts and spring is here, we're gonna be uploading five to six videos a day. There's gonna be so much going on here at Lumna Acres. It's gonna be hard to keep up. Right now, it's kind of the lull for us with the snow and the ice. We're stuck inside planning, so there's not too much not too much fun video stuff going on. But we're going to be pumping out some more pretty soon. So make sure you subscribe, like the video, leave your comments, and let us know your experiences or what you're looking forward to seeing about the comparison. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. <laughs>